Hi everyone, Clues Mall Designs here, and this is part one of the ICM 148th scale A26 Always Build. Now, what I mean by always is, it's a movie that came out in the 1980s about planes putting out forest fires and such, which they actually did in real life, the same kind of planes, but I'm going for the movie version, right? So, why you're seeing multiple kits is, to do the movie plane, you are going to need a few kits just to make the, you know, the one variant i guess you could call it of the plane right because this kit was obviously designed for world war ii this one here was for vietnam the one above is carrying drones so even in real life these planes over time you know changed right because obviously if you're going to put out forest fires you're not going to need 50 cals at least you shouldn't so with the later variants or as it went um for training purposes and things like that, yokes and seats were added, which I'm going to get into. As were the World War II version didn't have that, right? You just had the one pilot, I believe. But anyway, it didn't come with the two yokes. But we'll get into that. Now, these are beautiful kits from ICM. Like, they're absolutely beautiful. They go together nicely, um, at least thus far. And I haven't really gone too far. But anyhow, a lot of scratch building will be involved too there, guys. And I'll get into that right now. So as you can see, if you want to do the movie version... You're going to have to extend the bomb bay doors down quite a bit, right? As you can see, the original right there, that original line on the fuselage is where the bomb bay doors would curve in. So I added plastic, as you can see, on each side. You can see how much it hangs down there. Now what you're looking at with the darker plastic there running the length of the bomb bay are actual missile pylons from a 132nd scale F-18 or F-15. I can't remember which one I used. Pretty sure it was the F-18. But anyway, it's giving me the desired look of the correct bomb bay, right? Because then the doors that I'm going to have to scratch build will just go right across here. But the look is there. And you need this kit as well for not only like the glass in the front, but um, you want the small window, right? Because this kit right here, the Vietnam kit, has a bigger window. So again, for more accuracy sakes, that's what you need right there and you can see in i filled in that part right there the plane i'll show you here right here that's just filled in with uh putty and such because the movie version doesn't have that there now if you put this kit right it doesn't have the need to fill it in but it has the bigger window like see what i'm saying it's just back and forth back and forth but anyhow there we go that's the bombay area and then working in the cockpit area, right? Like I said, you're going to need two yokes. And one will go there, one will go there. But with this kit, it doesn't have it. This kit does. So again, changing out the floors. That's what's needed. And then I used Edwards uh, A26 interior, which is right there. So a lot of work with all the knobs and, you know, dials and such. But that'll look pretty cool when it's done. And here's one of the seats. All right, I got another one to make, and you can get two seats with this one. As with this kit, you only get one seat, but you need the two. And, of course, it wouldn't be complete without a Pete figure. So let's see if we can get this focused. And there we go. Now, no figure exists. You're going to have to scratch build it. And once again, I used ACM's figures there and there to make the one guy, right? So I... The pilot sitting in there, I used his legs, cut off his torso, this pilot right here, cut off his legs and used his torso for the correct jacket. And then I found the appropriate arms. Let's see if I can get this focused here in here, guys. Right? Because I want him, him holding the yoke as well as, I don't know what his other hand is doing, but uh, I'll put some headphones on him too. But there's a Pete figure. And of course, you can't do a movie plane without the correct markings. And I found a company that actually makes markings in 148th scale, uh, 132nd, and I think 17 second. Uh, pretty sure anyway. Now this is Dorinda's plane, the 59, but I'm I'm sure I can get a, a 7 and do Pete's plane as well as I'm going to have to change these numbers, right? Because this is for the other version. Now this one was in the movie, so pick and choose which one you want to do. And there's the Fire Eaters logo right there. So that's going to be fun to do. I'll leave a link in the description um, for where to get these. And that's the instruction sheet right there. So very cool. I've always wanted to do this plane, so I'm, I'm kind of excited. And these are, are just beautiful kits. So 
anyway, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, that's part one there, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to your comments. Bye.